views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The following audio is via a Skype call. Power comes from an inner knowing, inner joy, inner awareness, inner freedom, and a higher power. The Art of Powerful Living Radio with Robert Schoenfeld is here to inspire every human to live lives that are rich, fulfilling, on purpose, and fun. Get ready to take this journey and discover the power of joy in all aspects of life. This show is life transforming. You will hear Dr. Pat and Robert discuss topics on joy, love, art, and expanding our minds to what's possible. Join Dr. Pat Basili and Robert Schoenfeld and the Art of Powerful Living Radio, starting right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so great to have you here. I'm Dr. Pat. I'm joined by Robert Schoenfeld. Today, we are talking about the Art of Powerful Living Radio, but today's topic is the Art of Powerful Joy for the love of joy. And by the way, for those of you that know who Robert is, that is the title of his hit book, uh, For the Love of Joy. Today's show is also on Facebook Live. And for those of you that are thinking, what is the Facebook Live thing? I got to tell you, I'm trying to figure out what Facebook Live is myself. All I know is that today, Robert and I get to talk with you uh, from our studios, various places of of the country. I love it. And we're talking about something that Robert is super, super passionate about. So if you're thinking about, well, wait a minute, what is joy? How do I bring more of it in my life? Robert is going to give you a tried and true formula for that today. If you know who he is, he's a phenomenal artist. He's a human potential leader. He is somebody that is out in the world saying, we can create the most amazing, joyful life. And today's show is about that. What if, all of you, what if you could change your set point, your joy set point. Robert, it's great to have you here. How fun is this? Dr. Pat, it is fantastic to be here. Thank you. Well, let's just talk about what you got going on in the background right there. Because for the folks that are watching on Facebook Live today, which I'm trying to figure out how to get up on my phone, which is like, this is so interesting for me. I'm like, I'm like social media 101. Um, One of the things people are looking at is is an art, a piece of art that you recently did. And you're going to talk to us not only about that, but how your art and how our joy can come to a whole new level, right? Exactly, exactly. You know, they say that all of life is a vibration. We all talk about the, you know, essence of life, whether it be sound or color or whatever it is. And what I do in my paintings is work with that vibration to hopefully make a visual image that can actually raise your set point to bring more happiness, joy, fulfillment and even maybe some more success into your life. So tell us about this set point. Okay, the set point, everybody has one. And Dr. Pat, everybody wants to be happy. I mean, whether it be, you know, better health, more success in life, closer families, it's all wrapped up in in joy. And what I'm talking about here is to raise that level so that we can experience more pleasure in our families, in our success, in our health. And, and Dr. Pat, this is not just a roller coaster kind of joy where one minute you're happy, the next minute you're down. This is more of a core joy where your full essence is lifted up and so that you are beaming and you have that brightness in you and it comes from the inside and it's a constant. And of course, you'll still have your ups and downs in life, but this is a, this is a core level that's raised so that you now are experiencing life at a very much higher level, more enjoyable level, and you're glowing from the inside and expression on the outside. Well, you know, when you wrote your book, For the Love of Joy, you know, you've outlined, you know, what I call a formula for, you know, joy success, let's call it. Because, you know, so many of us have gotten out there, we've tried, we thought we were, you know, had the zone that was going on with that. We thought we had that set point you were talking about. But guess what? 
we did not. You know, what is it that you've discovered about joy that allows us to have a fuller expression of it? So that's the whole idea. It's where one puts their focus. And Dr. Joy, a lot of us have stress in our lives, whether it be political or whatever. If we take our, our focus off of these things and put it on the story we want to have in our lives, the magnificence we want to have in our life, the vision that we have for ourselves, you know, to, to express our dreams, express our desires, to live our, our, our voice, to live our freedom, to live our beauty. This is the, this is the expression of full, full joy. And this is how you raise your set point. Okay. So when I think about this, and I think about the many things that happen in our lives day in, day out, you know, what are the three things we could do today to raise that set point up? You know, how do we look at making an adjustment to that set point today? Because many people listening to this, Robert, may not know enough about your work or what a set point is. But clearly, if I look at the painting behind you right there, kind of you and I have these things that we do. And when we do them, there's nobody, nobody get, that can mess with our joy, right? <laughs> well, I wish that was true. You know, <laughs> Dr. Pat, there's always bumps in the road and there's always slow traffic and there's always, you know, someone put a dirty dish, you know, or whatever, whatever it might be that. that uh, no, tribute. not, no, not the dirty dish thing. No <laughs> way. No way is the dirty dish, dish thing. But I understand what you mean. Exactly. So I, I'm not talking about a utopia here, although I would love for us to move into a, more of a life like that. We still live in a real world. But yes, there are definite things we can do. One is lower your stress. And one thing that, that I highly recommend, turn off your TV or even get rid of your TV. Go to bed at 10 o'clock. Turn off all electronics by 8 o'clock. It's just simple things like that that make your life more relaxing, more enjoyable make that time from eight to 10 a family time where you're playing games, you're, you're reading, you're talking about the trip you're going to take this summer, you know, make this, you know, make your life. And, and basically this is Pat. This is the secret right here. Set your life up, sit down, put down some, some, you know, ways that you want to make, bring more joy and more love in your life and then go and live it. Well, tell me this. I want to hear a story about the points in time in your life where maybe you weren't a little bit, you know, had the joy going on, but then you learned about how to make this switch. Because I think that you're right. I think we each have moments in our lives where it's just not looking all that great. But on the other hand, we also don't have to live in the story of that. So what have you been able to do? How have you been able to change it? You know, that's a great question. I, I've told you the story before about how I became an artist, that I was very frustrated as, as a ceramic potter trying to make a living, and I just was making enough money to get by, and it just wasn't, wasn't satisfying at all. I didn't know what to do. Sometimes in life, an opportunity comes, and you just have to jump. And this was an opportunity to go to Israel, and I was there for four months, two and a half months, actually, and that's where my painting came from and my intuition to, to move in this direction. But it was a really a risk I took to do this. And there are opportunities that come to life. And this is the idea. You know, life gives you these opportunities. And it's really up to you to have the focus, the strength, and the, the courage to jump into them and jump into them with a smile and both feet. You know? Well, what did you learn in Israel? I mean, you know, I mean, the whole idea of going to Israel and to learn and to study, I mean, that is a treat in itself. I mean, was that all smooth or how did that work out? Well, that was bumpy too, but a little bit at first. So let me give you mm -hmm. a little story. It's an amazing, amazing story. So this is back in the 1970s when the wars between Israel and Egypt were still happening. Yes, and they were trying to get peace going. President Carter was trying to get peace going between Sadat and Begin. And it wasn't working. The peace talks were broken up. So Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, who is the founder of TM, Transcend Meditation, invited 500 of us from America and a couple from Europe to go to Israel into a town called Safat. It's a very holy town up in the mountains. It's where the Kabbalah was written. And uh, to meditate there with the idea that meditation causes a calming effect, not only in the individual, but in the environment. And when you have large numbers, like 500, which is a very powerful number, it causes a common effect for the whole area. So it took care of the whole Middle East. 
And so we were there for two and a half months and we meditated day and night and we learned programs called the cities, which is an advanced technique. And while I was there, it was, you know, you go through what's called unstressing. There's, you know, you've got 30 years of stress in you and it just helps to relieve it all. But while I was there, I was given a gift. And, and you see the painting on my on right side here. The colors that you see in this painting here were given to me visually. So my eyes were closed and meditating. I would see these colors. Wow. And it was a beautiful, beautiful gift to me. It was, wow. it was very euphoric. And, and this was probably my set point, too. It just gave me that confidence and that beauty inside to know that I can go back to Seattle, paint, and be very successful. But the other gift was, while we were there, within a month, the talks were back on. And with two months of us being there in Israel, they had initialed the peace treaty between Israel and Egypt. So it was a win-win in all directions. But it was a risk. I, I jumped on it and came back just glowing. You know, I love this because, you know, one of the things we're looking at is, you know, how do we include in our lives the things that we totally love? And how do we know that if we do that, Robert, things are going to turn out the way we want? And the reason I love this question is because part of this is that if I truly do what I love and I experience what I love, how can I be sure that the rest will be taken care of? Now, I know when we come back from break, we're going to talk about the colors. We're going to talk about the colors of joy. We're going to show and share our experience on how we can move through these colors, what they mean, and how we can tap into them to not just change where we are in any given day, but truly use what you've created as a tool for our lives. Let's take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back. Gifted intuitive healer and spiritual teacher, Sarah Luce, brings her unique style to the hit show, Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month as Sarah turns reality on end and shows us how to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. For show details and upcoming topics, visit SarahLoose.com. That's S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to affect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? <laughs> really? Check us out. Go to TransformationRadio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Gain powerful insight and practical tools to support you on your spiritual journey. Access your higher self and tune in every second and fourth Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific to A Life Untethered with Andrew Martin, walking the path of freedom. Andrew is a highly attuned intuitive oracle, energy worker, spiritual teacher, and international radio host. For more about Andrew and his services, visit thelightedones.com. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Discover the healing medicine from the giant monkey tree frog, Cambo. Cambo practitioner Ginny Rutherford and professional psychic Todd Rolson have come together for lively discussions of alternative healing medicines from the Amazon. 
Ginny and Todd bring you Cambo Talk Radio. Tune in each Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific to hear from guests all over the world with real life stories and the medicinal benefits of Cambo. For more information, visit CamboKiss.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Pat. I'm here with Robert Schoenfeld. And here's the deal. Um, You know, have you ever wondered if your different emotions have a a vibration, a color to them? If you want to find out more about Robert, you can go to theartofpowerfulliving.com or artofpowerfulliving.com. And there's lots of information there. There's information about his book, about his coaching, about the work that he does. Um, And also there's a link to get to his individual art pieces. Today throughout the show, you're seeing the, the piece that Robert has in the background on Facebook Live. For those of you that are listening on AM radio, you know, this will be available on Facebook Live later and also on our website But the bottom line is the idea of joy has many colors, doesn't it, Robert? Very, very. How how do we get from wherever we are to the vibration of joy? Beautiful, beautiful. So, you know, the colors, as we all know, if you put some roses in your dining room table, it it, it just brightens up the whole room. So any color that you choose, except for maybe black, has a, a really positive vibration. If you can look at the painting behind me, you look at the purples. The purples have a richness in it, a vitality, a majesticness to it. The, the violet is alive and, 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 and life-giving. The gold is more sensuous and, and abundant. And if you, can, if you can just look at these colors and just breathe these in, it can change your life. I mean, and look at the blues and the greens. They're soothing and healing. And, and so that's the idea. What if you could hang a painting in your living room and just by its presence, have a more uplifting environment and, and experience in your whole life. But the question is, what if we could do that, right? You know, what if we could do that? Now, you've created, a, what, what's the right word? A scale or a measure, you put it in your book. Uh, what do you call that? A, I like to call them a little joy meter, but, you, you know, there's there's different levels of it. And, and they're going to show that on the screen here in a minute. Tell sure. us about, you know, why some of the colors are on top, why some of the colors are on the bottom. Beautiful. beautiful. And, and just to let you know, it was David Hawkins, Dr. Hawkins, that created that scale. And it's a fantastic scale. It's called Love and Above. And so it goes from zero to a thousand. And 500 is love. And anything above love is is just really where you want to be enlightenment is a thousand and down below is shame and worry and and poverty and sickness and the idea is dr pat that if you're vibrating at a higher level sickness and worry and sadness cannot attach itself to you like a sine wave everything has a wave to it and if you're up here these lower waves cannot actually be assigned to you so the idea here if we can raise ourselves to a higher level and vibrate at a higher level, we will be automatically healthier, happier, and more vibrant. And, and the colors in, these, in the graph just kind of show the feeling of that different vibration. Well, you know, I mean, how do people figure out whether or not they're in one level of it or another? Because, you know, I think on any given day, certain colors that I resonate with and certain colors that I don't. And what's fascinating about that, they're not always the same. You know, today, for whatever reason, I thought, you know, it's a raspberry kind of day, right? (laughs) You know, it's like it's time to wear a little raspberry uh, today. And so there you go. I got the raspberry and I got the amethyst going on. But that's not that's not every day. You know, there are some days that I'll wear other colors. And do we resonate like that by what we choose to wear? Very much so. It can be even the fingernail polish that you choose to wear and and the colors you wear. Um, You know, we all have different moods. And whether it be wintertime or summertime, yes, you're 100% right. 
But I would recommend the brighter the colors, the brighter your day. The more brightness you can have, whether it be you know direct sunlight or just more brightness in your home, more flowers around your garden, all of that is it's just it's all vibration, and it's mm-hmm. all a matter of, of bringing those be- those beautiful colors into your into your experience. You know, it's fascinating because I just recently I leased my vehicle, and so I just recently uh, got a new vehicle. And walked into the showroom, wasn't expecting to buy it, um, totally looked like it was going to be way out of my price range. I mean, clearly was. Um, But one thing led to another. It was on special, like a one week, 4th of July. I don't even know. I mean, it was a moment in time where something that, quote, seemed out of my range was in my range. But I was so happy about the color that, you know, the minute I looked at it, you could see, right? You know, you could totally look at what was going on with me. And I think that attracted the right salesperson. And I think that also attracted the right sales manager. And this was at a place that I had never gone before. And the color of that car, I don't know if I can get a picture of it up, was orange. I mean, it is a metallic orange almost like an orange copper but clearly it is really orange i see it in your picture exactly. right um and so tell me about that because i don't think that's a mistake robert not a mistake and orange is the best color you can pick because that's all about warmth and happiness joy and just mm. warming the heart and so wherever you go now people are going to go wow look at that woman go she's <laughs> you know she's got a warm heart it, it, especially when you put that metallic in there, that gold in there, that's that richness oh. and that vitality and that solidness. And yeah, so you got to, you got to go on. Well, and you know, the experience, Robert, maybe you could talk to this because the colors bring this forth as well. The experience after what happened to me when I leased my other car four years ago, I was never going to buy another. I won't mention the name again, but the experience with the people you know, Anoush uh, and Greg, these two people that were just like so kind and generous with me. It was the best buying experience I've had anywhere. Forget about it being a car, right? Um, and so how do the colors help us attract what we want to attract? Beautiful, beautiful. So every color has, like I say, a vibration. And I can go kind of go through some of the colors. Like blue is healing, clarity, calmness, tranquility. Green is nourishing, it's truth, it's healthy, it's refreshing. Purple I love, it's sensual, it's love, it's oneness, it's the love of life. Yellow is vital, enlightenment, energizing, pleasing. White, and you can see my paintings, I use lots of white, it's purity, It's hope, it's silent, it's unmanifested, it's all possibilities. Red, of course, is richness, alive, vitality, robust. And orange, like you were just talking about, it's fun, it's happy, it's warm. And peach is one of the best. It's being on purpose, it's enthusiasm, it's joy. And gold, of course, is abundance, richness, and it's even the energy of the sun. So if you have all those colors, and you can see I have almost every of the colors of my paintings, brings that together, and in different combinations, you have it all. Yeah, you know, let me just ask you this. Let's say, and we live in the Pacific Northwest, and I'll tell you what I get accused of on a regular basis. I get accused of wearing black or gray or brown. You you know what I mean. You know, colors that I think people think are representative of this area um, if you live in the Southwest, right, you see the colors of the Southwest. But just because we live in a place that may have a color association, it doesn't mean we can't bring different colors into our, our, our aura, our chakra, and even our lives. Exactly. What I've seen is people, like you say, wearing the black or the green or whatever, but then having that bright scarf. Mm-hmm. It's just that one accent that, that brings that, that color in. And so, you know, I really feel that you definitely, especially in the wintertime, it's wonderful to wear bright colors because that's, that'll help to enlighten you and and get you through that Seattle winter. 
Well, you, you know, let's talk about what happens when people, and if you're looking on Facebook Live, you're looking at the image now that Robert was talking about, and you'll see the colors at the top, the colors in the middle, and you'll see that there are, are associated with it, there are different things to look at. I mean, this is how we can work through the color ranges in our mind and in our lives. You know, joy has one effect depression has another sadness has another i mean these are all emotions we're human beings after all and these are all emotions let's take a short break everyone we'll be right back brand consultant jen morgan is here with radically distinct radio to help you take control of your future and maximize your brand's power to produce results whether you're an individual trying to reinvent yourself and launch a new venture or you're an executive trying to reposition your company to modernize your sales and marketing programs jen morgan and the rad method empower you to play to your strengths and show up in the world as your most powerful brand to learn more go to jenmorgan.com that's jen with two n's morgan.com or call 206 9 do you want to heal your body and mind? Your body has a lot to tell you if you just learn to listen to your intuition. Audrey Michelle, host of Rewired Life Radio, can help you peel away the layers that are holding you back from living your best life. Tune in to Rewired Life Radio. Learn to love, heal, celebrate on Transformation Talk Radio every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Connect with Audrey at AudreyMichelle.com. Live your magnificence, for the love of joy is a precious gift offered to us by Robert Schoenfeld, host of the Art of Powerful Living Radio. He takes us on an incredible 30-day adventure to expand our minds and hearts with the nectar of life, love, and joy. This book will help you bring more joy, love, health, abundance, adventure, romance, and magnificence into your life. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Calling all moms, it's time to awaken your vibrant, intuitive, loving self in every area of your life. Join host Debbie Pokornik as she shares thoughts, stories, and tools to help you stand in your power. Listen to Vibrant Powerful Moms Helping Everyday Women Create Extraordinary Lives, Mondays at 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern. For more information about Debbie, visit empoweringenergy.com. That's empowering with letters N-R-G dot com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's so great to have all of you tune us in, turn us on. This is the Art of Powerful Joy for the Love of Joy, brought to you by Robert Mack Schoenfeld. The Art of Powerful Living Radio is what this is. Not only that, there's an entire body of work that Robert has created around this. You know, he is a teacher. He is an, an author. He's an artist. He is a, a mentor, you know, coaches people. Imagine working with someone that has both art and intuition and has the human potential skills we all want because this is the world of possibilities. Today, we're talking about what do we need to do to create more joy. Today's show is the art of powerful joy. We're going to be doing the art of powerful wealth, the art of powerful health, the art of powerful love. It's all here in the series. Right now we're talking, Robert, you know, we said we were going to talk about, well, wait a minute. What about how do I raise my confidence level? How do I become more empowered? So now we're talking about the self-empowering nature of joy because we don't talk about that a lot. We don't talk about joy and empowerment together. We have a whole lot of other things we talk about, but joy and empowerment, not so much. And you've discovered that, wait a minute, joy is a catalyst for self-empowerment, isn't it? Very much so. Very much so. And Dr. Pat, let's have some fun here. Okay. 
Because joy can be fun, right? Joy is fun. Joy is fun. So what if, after we get off this call, you, everybody listening here, could become a romance writer, could be a, an author of your own life. So what I'd love for you to do is grab your journal as soon as this call is through, or just even write on your computer, your whole life from this moment on. What would you like to see in your life? What, what, um, what new adventures would you like to have? What new relationships or, or closer relationships would you like to have? Would you like to go to Italy? Would you like to take that dance class? Would you like to you know, start gardening? Whatever your heart's desires are, write this down and compose this as your life story and make it fun. And then the secret is, once you've composed this, go and make it happen. You can have like a six month program, a one year program, and then just go have some fun living your, your beautiful life. And this, this is one of the techniques. Another technique is putting yourself first. A lot of us, our self-talk is, is very negative. You know, oh, I, I messed up here. What if from this moment on, all of your self-talk was if you were talking to your best friend or even to a three-year-old baby. You just, from now on, it's sweetness, it's happiness, mm -hmm. and, and make that commitment. It'll change your life. So by putting yourself forward first, it's just a magical thing to do. You know, we all think, oh, it's so nice to serve others and help others, and that's true. It's very true. But believe me, when your cup is full, you can serve others better. When your cup is full of love, you can love more. When your cup is full of wisdom, you can give better advice. When your cup is full of, of comfort, you can give more comfort. So the idea is whatever it needs, maybe for the next day, next week, next month, look for ways to put yourself first. Another idea is standing in your power. And of course, standing in your power is just being able to say yes whenever you can say yes, but stepping back and saying no when, when your boundaries are being being broken. But let me give you a technique, Dr. Pat, that's fabulous. Sure, yeah. It's called living words. And all words, again, have vibration. You know, the word of courage, confidence, certainty, they all have, have a vibration to them. So what if we could wear these words in, during our day? So before you go into a meeting, create a little, a little triangle on your body. So you have courage here, confidence here, certainty here, love here. And you carry that into the meeting so that when you speak, you're speaking with courage, you're speaking with confidence, you're speaking with, with love. And watch your life change. It's one of the most fantastic techniques that you can use. And of course, the last one is, is just to thrive and just to really make your life a fun adventure and to uh, celebrate life. And if you put those four things together, your set point will rise and your, your joy and your confidence and your power will increase. Yeah. You know what I love? We do so many things, Robert, I think, in our lives that we don't want to do. And, you know, sometimes we can live a life where we think we have no choice. And, you know, I'm really struck by somebody I studied early on in, in when I was younger. And I don't know how I don't know how I was connected with his work. And his name is Viktor Frankl. Sure. And you know, I was, I, I was, I think it was my uncle, by the way, that, that said, read this book. Right. And I started to read the book. And when I was younger, I knew there was something powerful in what I was reading, but it took me time to really absorb what he was saying. It took me time to absorb the idea, as you say in your book, the idea that we can create joy regardless of what's going on in our day. You know, I had a choice over the weekend, right, about was I going to create joy or was I going to get, you know, completely absorbed in what was not working, what was not going fast that I want. I, I mean, all of those things we tell ourselves, but we can take ourselves out of those days. Now, I know what you do. I know you paint and you and you do other things, right? You paint, you dance. Me, I take a little white ball and I do my best to hit that ball a hundred miles an hour. And I got to tell you, I had just been working on, on, on this show. Listen to what happened to me. You're, I, this, is gonna, this is a testimonial about this particular show. 
I go to play with some really good people. And there's one gentleman that I've always wanted to play with, but he always plays with the guy that runs the place. Of course, I'm not, you know, like, why would I be worthy to ask him to play? I walked in there the other day. He, the man was sitting there. He wasn't playing with anybody. I think it was on his phone. And I walked up to him and I said, hey, do you want to hit a few balls? And my gosh, you know, I knew I was getting better. But I played with this man at the level that I haven't played since 1974. Benny can uh -huh. Google me. And why was that, though? What was it about that action, Robert? that allowed me, but what was it about immersing myself in the work, your work, the book, the show, that became a catalyst to move me on my fear? Exactly. So you, that was that's a perfect story, Dr. Pat. So a lot of us, it's a circle. We get into this circle of, of the fear, the anger, the worry, whether it be financial or whatever it is. You broke the circle. And that's what it's I all did. about. You did. And that's what I all did. About. You see, I was out dancing till I don't yeah. want to say time last night, but I had a blast. I had a smile on my face for two hours, Dr. Pat. And that's the, the listen, the more you can smile, the better you're going to be. And listen, you want to, you want to have the, the easiest way to bring more happiness and joy into your life? Would you like to have that answer? Yeah, come on. I'm ready. <laughs> come on, let's bring it on. Smile. Yeah. All you, you know, there's so yeah. much research out there right now. That yeah. with a smile, it creates oxytocin in your, your body, endorphins in your body. All the happy juices get stimulated just by smiling. So even if you're having a bad day, you know, and you're having an argument, smile. It'll change your body chemistry, you know? Yeah. So yeah. There, and there are all kinds of techniques that, that one can do like that. that, that but, just, you know, what's interesting about that is how many people listening to the show right now want to do something but cannot figure out or figure out how to get to the next step of thinking about it differently so that they could take action upon it. Because you know what? I went there. There was, there was a table wide open. It was the, let's call it the high rollers table that I rarely play at. Nobody on the table. He was sitting there and I just said, Hey, Caesar, you want to play? And we played so long that I had not played like that in 30, 40, 50, I don't even know how many years. And I was the one that had to stop. But that particular experience was because I remembered, Robert, how joyful playing is. You see? See, if I'm reading and immersed in joy and what you're doing, and I'm reminded that I'm going to do something joyful, why would I deny myself that joy? Exactly, exactly. And you know what? What if Dr. Pat... What if really the purpose of life is to be joyful? So oh, let's, yeah. let's take a look, you know, of a parent. Every parent wants their children to be healthy, happy, and prosperous, right? And to have yeah. joy in their life. So God created us. And don't you think that God wants us to be happy? Oh, and yeah. It, you know, and this is one of the things, you know that you're at a very high level of the set point when you wake up every morning going, thank God I'm alive. And as you go through your day, you just feel that resonant in you. Thank God I'm alive. And when you lay down your pillow, thank God for today. You know, and, and I don't mean to say that in a religious sense. I mean to say that in a, a feeling sense, where you just feel that in your essence. Every cell, every you know, every part of you is lifted up with that joy of life, and you're just thankful. And oh, and that's the, that's the second best way to get into joy. Gratitude. Yeah. I love what you just said. You know, I have a friend who wrote a book and uh, her book was something like the only little prayer you need. And when I got the book, I thought this can't be true. I, uh, this is me now, right? I'm a girl from New York, so I'm going to go. Uh, there'll be times when I go to this can't be true. What I found is exactly what you just said. But I didn't make the connection between that and joy because you're right. And uh, and let's just be clear. What do you believe in? It could be God. It could be universe. It could be Robert's piece. Of, what, whatever that is that you think is that source, like that life source, that's what you do. You wake up and thank it. Exactly. Exactly. And let me give you a little, another taste of wisdom. Yeah. Um, you know, it was Einstein that said, 
if there's a problem in your life and you want to change it, do not try and change it. Create something better and make the old obsolete. Oh, oh. Uh, this is my favorite topic. It is the art of powerful possibilities. Exactly. That's what we're talking about now. It's, because uh, you know what? You and I, we didn't share this story. Maybe we'll have to just do a talk story show. We didn't share our story about how we're even here now. We, we didn't talk about what you said yes to, what I said yes to, that isn't about probability, but about possibility and expansiveness. So let me ask you this question. I want to talk about expanding joy. Ah. That's your thing, too. It is. It is. It is. And so, Dr. Pat, I'm very much into not only us individually having joy, but the seven and a half billion people yeah. on this planet experiencing joy. So what I created a couple about a year ago is a program called Global Moment of Joy. And what the idea is every day at noon to bring a billion people together in a moment of joy and gratitude at 12 o'clock in their time zone. That's the goal. Just think how this world would be changed if we could bring a billion or even two billion, four billion, six billion, seven and a half billion together in, in their time zone every day in a moment of, of global joy and gratitude. This world would be, we, we couldn't even imagine how, how expansive and how joyful this world could be. So that's where I'm going. And I'd love for everybody that's listening to be a part of that. You know, we were talking about you, were your ears ringing a little bit? Because we have two crowdfunding initiatives, which are really the backbone for new projects for us. Over the weekend, we got a new version of te our technology. And Robert, we're so close, right? But one of the things we discovered is when we talk to you, when we talk to Colette, when we talk to, you know, all of the hosts, the hosts want to do what they're calling now chat swap where they want to invite you to their show. You know, I mean, it's like a super energy, like what you're talking about. But the other thing is Megan and Jessica and I, we said we need to create something, not just to do a radio show, but to create a movement. And we thought, what if we had this way for you, Robert, to put your global moment of joy in a technology that automatically had a pay it forward momentum to it what if we built that so all you would need to do is have it in the whatever the language is in the thing we're building that robert you know wow. we're building that jessica and megan and the team they outlined how they want this community to be about this so yeah facebook is for posting and this ours though is for spreading spreading positivity let's take a short break when we come back what are you going to do today to spread joy what is the action you're going to take because without action robert wouldn't be here wouldn't have written his book wouldn't be doing that painting wouldn't be dancing and certainly wouldn't be talking to me let's take a short break we'll be right back Thrive is what we experience when our mind, body, and soul operate as one. When we thrive, we excel on all levels. Thrive is the mindset that matters. It is essential to our being. Have you ever found yourself looking for the instruction manual on how to thrive? You'll find everything you need to help you feel strong, powerful, and peaceful in your own body. So don't waste any more time. Visit thrivebygen.com today. Are you traveling most of your day? Do you want to take Transformation Talk Radio with you anywhere you go? Well, guess what? There's an app for that. Just go to the App Store on your Apple device or the Google Play Store on your Android and search Transformation Talk Radio. Catch all of our live shows no matter where you are. Thanks for listening. 
Tune in to the hit show, Mouthing Off with Chef Rossi. Chef Rossi mouths off about different subjects in pursuit of breaking down walls and opening up your minds. She and Dr. Pat banter back and forth, taking from the headlines of the day on subjects that reach beyond what goes on in the world into your hearts. And go to theragingskillet.com to find out more and let Chef Rossi know what's on your mind. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio, featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net for show days and times. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. I love it. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is the Art of Powerful Living Radio with today's segment, The Art of Powerful Joy. We're going to give a copy of, actually, we're going to give two copies of Robert's book away. One is going to be through our 800 number, 1 800 930 2819. Benny will take the first caller, he'll get your information. Then the second is going to be through Christina and Justin. First person on Facebook looking at the show, watching a show that types in a comment for their favorite joy color today. (laughs) First person, your favorite joy color. Somehow, Justin and Christina will get your information. That's all you need to do. If you're watching the live, live feed, we want to give you a copy of Robert's book, For the Love of Joy. So you go to the Facebook and uh, I guess, Justin, what do they do? Just type a little com- type in your color in the comments. And we will give the first person to do that um, a copy of the book. Okay, you've got something special for us right now. Tell us about it. Exactly. Let's have some more fun. Oh, boy. So- We've been talking about color. Let's experience it. Let's have some some experience of what these colors can do for yourself. So we're going to do a, a short meditation, maybe two or three minutes, and we're going to breathe, breathe these colors into your entire being so that every cell of your body has that red, that violet, that purple. So if, you, if you're in a place you can do this, and if you're driving, you might not want to, but if it's safe to do so, put your hand on your heart and just take a nice breath in. And this is always a nice way to relax. Just take a breath in and a breath out. And this just calms you down a little bit. You can relax your shoulders if you want, your jaw. Breath in and breath out. And now if you're watching, you can see the painting on my right-hand side. If you're not watching and you're online, you can go to my website, schoenfeldart.com and actually see the paintings there, or you can Google Robert Max Schoenfeld, and you can find, get my website there. But that way you can watch while we're doing this, because we're going to pull in these colors into your cell, into every cell, to your whole essence, to your brain, to your eyes, so that you are filled with these colors and filled with the joy of these colors. So let's start with the orange, because that is really a wonderful, uplifting color. So if you can visualize in the painting, or if you don't have it in front of you, just visualize the color orange, Breathe that into you so that all of your cells are just filled with this orange color. Mm. Breathe out. And it's uplifting. It's joyful. 
And now let's move to the blue. There's some blue on the top of the painting and blue on the bottom. Breathe it in. And you can feel the calmness, the serenity, the purity. There's even a healing quality to this color. Breathe it in again. And now let's experience some vitality. Go to those reds and those violets that have got the energy of life. And, and, and that's a joyful energy. So breathe that red in, that violet in to every cell, every organ. And just feel that vitality coming into your body. And we'll do one more color. Let's do the gold, the gold on the right-hand side. Breathe that gold in, that richness, that strength, that metallic, that beauty, the sunshine color. Feel that vitality that comes from that, that joy that comes from that. A little smile might be coming to your face. And breathe out. And now let's just take one little breath to kind of come back a little bit. And how do you feel? Do you feel more relaxed, more invigorated? Yeah. Yeah. And I want to say um, thank you for doing that because the minute you said the orange color, I don't know if you heard me grunt. Yeah. Um, but obviously, that is a color that I resonate with, and I resonated with it early on. Hey, I want to thank Chris, uh, whose color is purple. So on Facebook, we're going to get information from Chris and get a copy of the book. And for those of you uh, that are listening through Transformation Talk Radio or, or KKNW, you can go 1-800-930-2819, first caller, if you haven't done it already. Um, what a fabulous show. I know we've got a couple of minutes left. Um, what can you say about the color of purple uh, that, uh, you know, Chris from our Facebook Live, uh, it, it, it picked today? I'll tell you, purple is a wonderful color. It's majestic. Mm -hmm. It's just your shoulders kind of go back. Your chest kind of comes up. You're just filled with, with the fullness of life and the beauty of life. It's a, it's a wonderful color. Chris, I definitely look forward to hearing how you like the book. But I'd like to finish that if I could. You know, joy is wonderful. But we can't just sit and smile all day. We have to do right. it. So as I mentioned before, one of the most wonderful things you can do for your life right now as we get off this call is sit down and write your life story and put in some action steps. And it can be anything from taking a dance class to starting your garden to taking the trip to Italy you want to do. But one of the wonderful things you could do is take a day off. One of the things that I love doing, I take every Saturday off where I don't answer any phones, don't watch any TV, don't drive the car. What if you could take one day off and it was called Dr. Pat's Day? Yeah. Uh, day, just do whatever you wanted to, rest, be with family, read, you know, spiritual growth. You know, if you, it'll change your life. So these are action steps you can take. The other, I'd like everybody listening to get involved with something meaningful. It can be helping the homeless. It can be tutoring a young person. Whatever it is that's meaningful to you, take some action to make this world a better place. You put those four things together, and you're going to raise that set point. Well, I like what you're talking. I learned that being of service was one thing in my life that changed my life. Even when I was sitting in Seattle, when I moved here, I was depressed. I didn't know anybody. And I walked out of my apartment from Capitol Hill, and I walked into a place called the Chicken Super Grade, who made, they made food for people with HIV food so stuffing turkeys made me happy made me joyful robert thank you one last question thank you for a great show thank you for all that you do wow christina thank you for that image you just put up there on facebook live whoa that is good um and uh, so personal message what do you want to leave everybody with wow my personal message is that even though things may not be looking too good on the big scale and even maybe in your own life Things are getting better. And keep that vision. Keep the vision of your dream and go out and live it. That's where your joy will come from. And thank you all for telling me that my glasses are reflecting the light. I haven't figured out what to do with that, but I promise I'm going to work on that. Robert, thank you for a great show. Benny, thank you. We've got another hour coming up here on the Dr. Pat Show and Transformation Talk Radio. Christina, thank you. Justin, thank you. Anybody I left out, thank you. We'll be right back. 
You've been listening to The Art of Powerful Living Radio with Robert Schoenfeld and Dr. Pat Vasily. Powerful living doesn't stop here. Join the billions of people around the world in a global moment of joy. Visit globalmomentofjoy.com and discover love, beauty, joy, and happiness because Robert knows you deserve it. And be sure to tune in once a month with Robert Schoenfeld and Dr. Pat Vasily for The Art of Powerful Living Radio. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.